aflacida, which is now starting to show maturity in the bark, is very, very rare. Uh, we have many in the UK, but all silver boring trunks. This is really, really nice. Often so straight as well. This is a classy tree. Um, and a very interesting choice of pot as well, because it's a glazed pot, not often uh, associated with evergreen trees. But the pot, the colour of the pot is also picked up in the foliage as well. Uh, it's very, very good. Well, oh, it's a beautiful combination. We've got beautiful bark as well. This is what, you know, it's an old tree now. Uh, what it was called a mochikomi, or basically real age. Uh, real age in a pot. Not just the age you would find with a Yamadori tree, but age as a bonsai, which is evident here. Um, branch, yes. pot, pot branch in uh, middle of 80s. Yes. I mean that's evident now just with the age that started to show. You cannot fudge this, you cannot make this up. You know, you cannot uh, falsify the real character now that's coming out in this tree. Uh, and this is real bonsai. This is, you know, uh, it's not... If uh, They always say to decide which is the best tree. If there was a fire in the building, which one would you save? And for me, it would be this tree. Uh, there's nothing really we can do to improve this tree that much. Mainly, maybe the only thing that upsets me a little bit is this long branch here is almost the same size as this branch here, and will get a little weaker. And my only feeling is that just needs to be shortened. And um, this uh, gene still looks a little fresh, so it just needs a little bit of work just to up, make it a little older. But this is, you know, there's nothing really much I like in that to this tree, but it's a beautifully well proportioned tree, nice height for the size of the trunk. Uh, a lot of consideration has been gone into the pot that's been chosen, not just the only pot that was around that size. So there's no compromise with this tree. Uh, this is a beautiful example of a tube inside bonsai. Uh, this, is, yeah, this is great. Like I say, my only issue really is this straight branch here. But I would just prune that, yeah, maybe just reshape it a little bit, but that's all. Um, so there's nothing really more I can add to this field, and I like it an awful lot. <laughs> and it would look better in my garden. <laughs> you want to take a <laughs> Yes, uh, maybe like, uh, too heavy, <laughs> too heavy for my suitcase. Um, it's starting to get cones now, which is also very, very beautiful. With any cone or fruit bearing bonsai, uh, the fruit or cone takes energy out of the tree. So maybe have one or two, but that's all. Especially with larch, if you get cones, you'll also lose the branch that the cones yeah. growing on. Uh, it's very weak. So, as much as you like, it looks beautiful, you have to think about the tree again, not your own ego, and thinking, you know, how clever am I? I have all these cones if the tree's going to die. So, one, two is okay, but not, not more than that. You know, when we exhibit a shown bonsai, often we'll glue the fruits back onto the bonsai. Uh, <laughs> I, this is a top exhibitions also. Uh, Gardenia, Kuchinashi, um, you, the fruits grow you know, uh, on wild trees. When you cultivate it as a bonsai, you don't get that many fruits, so you have to cut them off of one tree and super glue onto another. <laughs> uh, I'll let you make your own mind up about that. You know. There's many people, many ways. There's many ways to grow bonsai. It might not appeal to some. But no. Um, I mean, even to the choice of stand that the tree is on, the stand has been given a lot of importance as well. It's one thing getting a tree and pot combination together, but also thinking then about the stand as well is very important. Often in the West, we don't have the luxury of all the stands that you'll see at the uh, Japanese exhibitions, um, which is a problem. We end up with a little bit of a compromise. But the tree, the pot, and the stand work so well together that there's no compromise in this uh, display at all. It is very, very good. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Okay. Um